Hey, 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 I'm back. <laughs> hey, shout out to those of you who sent me emails, left a comment or two, or even some um, DM me asking about my whereabouts, how am I doing. Hey, I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. I still have my... T I'm, <laughs> I'm still out here two-footed, so I'm doing fine. <laughs> Hey, but before I go into where I've been and what's going on, uh, I just want to say I hope you had a blessed Christmas and a happy New Year. And everything that you plan for the New Year, I hope it comes to you. Um, there's a quote I saw about the New Year uh, that basically said, The bad news is, time flies. The good news is, you're the pilot. You got it? Hey, it's almost like something that my D9 brothers and sisters, uh, something that we say. You are the master of your fate. You really are. So don't forget that and just have a great new year. All right, so where I've been. <laughs> now, I don't know how long you've been following me, but Saving My Foot, um, basically, it started out as a blog. Um, then a couple of years later, I add vlogging um, to it. When I had it as a blog, one of the things that um, I wrote about, unlike a person with means, you know, your Halle Berry's, your Al Roker's, your Oprah's, um, they have people to help them to manage um, their health. You know, they have a chef, um, a personal trainer, a personal assistant. You know, they have the means to hire these extra people to help them manage their health. But the whole purpose of saving my foot was just to show that an average person with a nine to five, um, they can maintain a health healthy lifestyle too, uh, with following your what? Your EKG. Eat healthy, know your numbers, and um, get off the couch. Unfortunately, even with people of means, sometimes life will get in the way. Uh, whether, it's that, whether that's your work, um, your family, unforeseen events, life just get in the way. And that's kind of what um, happened with me. Uh, nothing bad, what have you, just, you know, we're coming up on the holidays and we, we're still in COVID, <laughs> trying to see family and work, you know, with what I do. Uh, my nine to five, where I, how I really get paid. In the the end of the year processing, um, that's just hectic. So just life getting in the way. But also just even doing these vlogs, uh, what have you, does take a lot out of you. Uh, well, I don't want to say it take a lot out of you. Just it takes a lot of time, and I just needed some time to kind of step away uh, from it too. So it was all it was all good. Now there is something I learned during this time. There's a couple of things I learned. When I was first diagnosed uh, with diabetes, hey, maintaining a healthy life, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, <laughs> I didn't need any external um, inspiration. Hey, when I heard those three words, you got diabetes, <laughs> or, or you have diabetes, uh, that's all the inspiration I needed. And uh, I got things into shape. But what I learned when I basically I've been away from uh, vlogging and blogging for about a couple of months or so, almost three months, I realized doing the vlogs, that was inspiring to me, even though I'm doing it to inspire others. But it really was inspiring me too. Because during that time when I, uh, during that time that I haven't been vlogging, um, I put on weight, my numbers went up a little bit. And I wasn't doing the things I uh, should have been doing. No, I didn't slip all the way back, but brother did kind of fall off the wagon. <laughs> so these vlogs are um, like basically inspiring to me. It kind of remind me um, sometimes you know, what, uh, what you hear a preacher say. You know, sometimes a preacher's be uh, preaching, and he's just stepping on everyone's toes. And the preacher would say, "Well, he's speaking to himself too." I never really believed that until. This hiatus I just took. And yes, I do realize these vlogs, I'm speaking to myself too. So, but it's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm back now. So you guys are cool? Great. Now, the footage that you're going to see following this, you know, my get off the couch and my um, eating healthy. It's something I actually, uh, something I recorded. Um, in the fall. I just never got a chance to publish it. So this is not something I'm doing today. It's something I did previously. Uh, my next videos after this one, 
they will be just like they've always been um, a day in the life of, um, of what I do. All right. Hey, again, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and enjoy the footage. Hi, I'm David H. I manage my illness, diabetes with my EKG. The information I share is for informational purposes only and is not intended as health or medical advice. Please consult your physician regarding questions you may have about your health objectives. I'm, follow I'm following you. Yep. <laughs> I'll pull up the rear. Go ahead. Somebody call the janitor to clean up that <laughs> This guy on my job, he has a, um, he actually feed raccoons. Uh -huh. He'll leave food out. Then some days he'll open the door and sit on the floor and they'll actually crawl up on him. Wow. I'm getting ready to fix something to eat. If you've been following along, you know I hate cooking. I really, really do hate cooking, but I can follow a recipe. Well, that's what I say. Um, I have a lot of fails, but, but anyway, that's what I do. I guess on this um, eat healthy lifestyle, that's one of the things I started doing occasionally because the Mrs. Steele does most of the cooking. But I think as part of you trying to learn how to eat healthy, you should learn how to um, prepare healthy meals. And even if you're eating someone else because you started cooking yourself, you'll also learn, you know, what's in different dishes or what have you. Is this something you should be eating? Is this something you shouldn't eat? Is it high in fat? Is it high in carbs? Is it high in calories? Well, you get the point. Anyway, what I'm going to try today is, let me, let me look at it. It's basically a pan roasted halibut. Honestly, I never had halibut before. So I saw this on Landshark, that's another YouTuber that does um, catch, clean, and cook um, halibut. They caught some halibut in Alaska. Looked real good, so I said I'd give it a try. But I'm not, I'm not in Alaska, so I can't go out and catch it. Heck, not that I would go out and catch it anyway. <laughs> so I had to go buy some. What I, my plan was to, I was going to cook it just for the missus and I, and then if I liked it or what have you, it turned out pretty good, I was going to cook it again. Um, for the tube, I was gonna do it for the vine, right? This halibut costs $30 a pound. <laughs> so I'm getting one shot. <laughs> hey, hopefully, I like it, but well, maybe not because it's so expensive. <laughs> um, I probably need to move to Alaska if I like it so I can get it on the cheap. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do pan seared halibut. Uh, the recipe looked look real good. I got it from Food Wishes. Like, Land Shark gave me the idea to cook um, halibut. Like I said, I have to follow a recipe. And I found the recipe from Food 
wishes that I'm going to um, try. And actually it looks fairly um, simple. There's very little prep. It's really just searing the meat, uh, pan searing the meat and pile it up on some greens. <laughs> I think I can do that. All right, um, here we go. Okay, I finished. So there it is. You saw the picture. Actually, it looks pretty good. <laughs> I dropped the uh, mushroom. Actually, a couple of things. It called for clamshell mushrooms. Yeah, I just got regular mushrooms and chopped them up, so I did that. I always say I can follow a recipe, right? <laughs> I missed a step. I was supposed to have put the uh, parsley in with the mushrooms. You know, let that kind of simmer down a little bit. Forgot to do it, so I just sprinkle them on top. All right, I'm gonna give it a try, and I laid it over a bit of um, spinach. That's I never had halibut before. I know why. I thought I saw what you cost. <laughs> Subscribe.